for two days. Almost 20 area artists will invite you into their studios for what you could call self-guided art lessons. I think the idea that people can see work in action, work being made, work halfway made, work completed, and the artist creating the work. I think it's really unusual for them to see that. Emily Simpson and Greg Duncan are two of the local artists you can visit as they create original works during the Falling for Art Artist Studio Tour this weekend. Their specialty? Well, glass <laughs> fusing is uh, very much like quilting. You have flat glass, flat sheet glass, you cut it up and make new designs. I'm headed in the new direction of uh, kiln casting, um, which are thick pieces um, made in molds. We sell a lot of earrings in uh, farmer's market. So I'm also making marbles and I've made some little plants and pots. And I'm gonna try and get back to making some dragonflies and some structural things. When it comes to jewelry, as you can see, I wear clip-on earrings, nowhere near as popular as Pierce. So Emily, Greg, do you happen to make clip-ons? For, for ladies who don't have pierced ears and don't wear necklaces very much, they can get bug pins. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Which are made from Greg's beads. Whether you like to dabble in jewelry, or watch artists bring canvases to life. Falling for Art has an assortment of creations that cover an artistic palette. You'll find who's participating in this story on WPTA21.com and WBOI.org. Come to Falling for Art studio tour and come see where it all happens and, and get to see things in process and Greg's gonna be at the torch and um, yeah, yeah, that would be good. With ABC 21's In the Spotlight, I'm WBOI's Tara Brantley.